guys welcome back to the vlog my name is rachel if you're new i'm having like an eczema flare up on my forehead so ignore that but today's going to be a hybrid work day i'm gonna work half day in the morning at my dad's stone company and then the afternoon will be at my mom's medical office so it's going to be a busy day i'm excited to take you guys along really quick if you're new why don't you go ahead and subscribe i would really appreciate it um it helps me so much to grow my channel so i really appreciate it so i'm wearing this new black little shirt from amazon you can't really see but it's like a really soft ribbed material and it's not a bodysuit but it's long enough to tuck in which i really like because sometimes i just don't want to wear a bodysuit to work and get like all up in my crotch you know what i mean i'm obsessed with this i got an extra small because i wanted it to be tight so such a good amazon find so affordable i think it was like 15 bucks and you guys know i'm trying to wear clothes that i enjoy to work instead of like just wearing ugly work clothes that I don't even enjoy so I feel like this is something that I could wear every day even though I look like a hostess at a restaurant I don't care because it's minimal it's basic it goes with everything I will never get tired of a black t-shirt I brought my socks out because I wanted to show you I haven't shown them in a while but these are the best no-show socks that exist they're also from Amazon for example you put them on and you cannot see anything I'm obsessed it's actually 7.38. I need to leave. I'm so late right now, but what can you do, you know? Oh no, we're out of paper towels. We're out of paper towels. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Let's go, boys. Got my keys. Guys, don't look at this trash right here, and don't look at the trash right there. Did you look? I just got to work. I'm not as late as I thought I would be, so that's good. I know this video is titled like nine to five something, but I actually work eight, start at eight. So let's go to work. Let's have a good day. I have this big box here because I need to bring it to my mom's office. It was accidentally delivered to my house. So yeah, let's go. Alrighty guys, today's workday consists of, of course, making my to-do list because I cannot function without a to-do list, otherwise I literally don't get anything done. After that, I always check my email and make sure that I process or handle anything that is urgent. And then I jump into my main task for today, which is actually reviewing the books for 2021 because as you guys may know, tax season is coming up and part of my job is to review the previous year and make sure along with my other co-workers that everything looks good there are no changes that need to be made and that everything is ready to be submitted to our cpa throughout the morning i'm also working on miscellaneous tasks like sending emails uh, working on a few change orders i do a lot of different things and miscellaneous things as i'm sure you guys can relate to sometimes in your job it's not always straightforward and you often have to balance multiple things and people coming in asking questions or asking for help on certain projects and so that is basically my morning so i'm gonna work a little bit more and then let's see where the day takes us hi guys it's about 11 45 i just placed an order for lunch i'm gonna go pick it up and then i got something for my mom too so i'm going to bring that over to her we're gonna eat together and then i'll be over there for the rest of the day but productive morning got quite a bit of stuff done not as much as i'd like but i did get some stuff done so that's always good it was international women's day a few days ago and so someone got us all these chocolate roses and i've just been saving it for a day where i really want to have something sweet which isn't going to be today because i don't feel like taking it with me sorry i was just <laughs> closing something but i'm so hungry all right let's go Okay, I just got my food. 
I wanted to talk a little bit about motivation at work. I get a lot of questions on how do I stay so motivated and productive? <laughs> Guys, in reality, I don't. Like, there's a reason why these vlogs are filmed later in the week. Today is Thursday. And it's because I have zero motivation, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I swear. Mondays, you won't catch me vlogging because I'm always in the bad mood. I don't like the start of the work week. My motivation is at an all-time low. And then towards the end of the week, I get back into my routine. I'm feeling good. The cycle repeats. But I do want to share a few things that have helped me in case they help any of you. The first thing would be to just not lay in bed too long. Especially on a Monday morning when I have tendencies to be sad. Instead of like waking up and then sitting in bed thinking about how much I don't want to go to work for 20 minutes I try to get up like relatively quickly as soon as I wake up that way my mind doesn't have time to produce these negative thoughts So basically don't think just do that's been super helpful for me And then the other thing would just be thinking of something that you're looking forward to maybe it's that night You're gonna have a nice dinner order pizza like even if it's little things or something you want to do this weekend, just constantly focus on things that you're excited about in the future. For me right now, I'm looking forward to this weekend. It's going to be AJ's birthday, and even though we're not doing anything, it's still like a fun thing to look forward to. Maybe we'll go out to dinner or something. And then even looking forward to things that are like a few weeks out, like we're going on a quick weekend trip coming up, and I'm just like focusing on the exciting things and the good things instead of focusing on how much I don't want to go to work or how tired I am or the headache that I have, you know what I mean? So I know those are super simple and easier said than done, but I do have a whole podcast episode on dealing with negative emotions. If you want to listen to that, I go into like deep dive on this and I've just seen a little bit of improvement each week. I'm not like perfect. I didn't get perfect overnight. I'm still working on it. And also another thing that's helped me obviously is wearing clothes that I like. So this shirt, is this is the first time that I'm wearing it and I honestly am obsessed like it's just so me it's so simple highly recommend dressing in something that you feel comfortable in this is a $15 shirt from Amazon but it truly makes me feel more like myself when I'm at work um, because I tend to like split my work personality with my at-home personality and when I merge those more frequently I feel better that's my spiel. I'm going to go to my mom's office and eat because I'm freaking starving, okay? My mom's wearing a puffer because she's cold. <laughs> you have the ability to control the air. This is your place. When you're the boss, you have to please everybody. Yeah, I guess the patients like it colder. We're eating our lunch. It's my mom's office. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys. It's basically just empty except for the desk. <laughs> she has right. her own bathroom. And it's a double screen like you. Double screen, double monitors. That's right. Is there right. any HIPAA, HIPAA stuff on there? Nope. Always HIPAA, learning. HIPAA compliant. Always. Yeah. Let me show them the bathroom. It's actually pretty nice. This is white onyx. Casual. This is, I was telling them I got this shirt from Amazon. Do you like it? It's like a $15 black. It's a little t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a treatment by Evolve. It's basically radio frequency uh, energy that's being delivered through the applicators to the skin to tighten the skin, burn fat, and build muscle. All in a quick half an hour lunchtime procedure. No downtime, no pain. It really feels like a hot stone massage and some pretty intense and pretty gnarly contractions. Wait, I just ate. Is that a problem? Uh, there will be violent and nausea on <laughs> No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. But you will be wrecked tomorrow. Wrecked. So Get wrecked. Get wrecked. You will feel muscles in an area you didn't know you had muscles. Ah! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> no, that just scared me. It feels like a vibration. Oh my gosh. You're on three. Is that low? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Keep me here for a minute. <laughs> oh my god. This is the weirdest thing I've ever felt. I want to try this. It's like someone's inside my stomach. It feels like if I was pregnant, this is what the baby would feel like. That's what Rina's like. Okay, finally done. That was the 30 minute ab session. And I was not even expecting to do that today, but my mom was like, why don't you just hop on? Feels like a really strong vibration. And they kept turning the setting up and it was just like, uh, uh, uh. but. Let's see how I feel tomorrow. They said that I'm gonna feel sore, so 
But I'm here at my mom's office. This is the manager's office and I am the manager, at least for now. So what I need to do is pay a bunch of bills because I haven't been here at this office for like a week and a half. And normally I come at least once a week to like straighten everything out, but I need to pay a bunch of bills. And that's basically the main thing that I do at this office is I pay bills, make sure that the books are up to date. Um, I'm actually working on submitting the 2021 books for taxes because March 15th is the first tax deadline so I need to make sure that everything is in order um, applying all of the knowledge that I learned from my dad's business over the years and applying it to this business has been so cool I'm not even gonna lie it's like the coolest feeling ever to like come into a new business and kind of like know a little bit of how to organize it I don't know Someone brought us coffee. The good thing about working in a medical office is that there's always food. There's always people bringing food, coffees. Like, it's just amazing. I got a matcha latte with oat milk. So good. Guys, one of you sent me these awesome little stickers. I'm so obsessed. This one's a small amount of drama. This is our podcast. And then minimal-ish. I'm obsessed. And also... This one's hard to see because it's white, but it says Rachel Vin. So this is her Etsy shop, Rosie K Design. Definitely check them out. In shock that like you sent me this because it's just so surreal. Thank you so much. Kylie, if you're watching, she's an OG subscriber. And this is the first piece of thing that I've ever gotten sent. So it's this is so surreal. So make sure to check her out. Okay, it's actually 3.20. Um, I'm wrapping up. I paid all the bills I needed to pay, filed things away, and I'm gonna leave in a few minutes. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I was like, who got the cake pop? It was her. Okay, I'm home. I changed. We're gonna go to the gym. I have like way too much energy right now. I guess the matcha is like going straight through me. But uh, yeah, I just had some pre-workout. If you guys didn't see, my previous videos this is the new setup got the new acrylic table and this is the rug that's coming in Vinny loves it you love it then get me for my birthday i know what i want get me two more of these two you already have two yes i only pee clear whenever i'm on grazing what the heck happened to my face i'm feeling electric guys i feel like the radio frequency from my abs went to my head you vlogged it yeah People went off. When I got Botox, they were like, how could you? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. What was Botox? Everybody do what you want. That's my point of view. No judgment needed. All right, then I bought the steroids. No, those are not safe. Vinny, get a laser. <laughs> from the gym i realized this morning i was talking to you guys about motivation before work but i also wanted to touch on motivation during work and some things that helped me something as simple as getting a drink maybe it's a starbucks maybe it's a kombucha that you bring from home maybe it's just like an ice water with lemon inside of it get a drink that you enjoy drinking and save it for when you have your afternoon slump or your midday slump whatever that time is for you give yourself a little treat maybe it's like a little cookie it doesn't have to be food obviously but for me that's like what gets me another thing that helps me is switching up my environment so like today i went to my mom's in the afternoon i know that that's not super relatable because you can't just like leave the office like my situation is super unique but i'm just being honest like that really helps me to really focus and get all my work done in the morning at my dad's so that way i can like get everything done because i have to go to my mom's in the afternoon so if there's any way that you can like step outside of the office even if it's just going for a walk sometimes i just walk around the warehouse for like five minutes just to clear my head and it helps a lot so oh another thing is to-do lists the days that i don't do a to-do list guys i am all over the place my brain is like scattered i can't focus on anything and sometimes by the end of the day i'll realize that i have not even completed my most important tasks but when i do a to-do list and i 
leave it like in front of me on the desk and I see it, that's really what helps me to stay focused for the day. And I always put my most important tasks at the top so that it's the first thing I see. And then I work my way down. Again, I know those are like really simple and obvious things, but if we can make an effort to actually put some of these practices into practice, I think that they will help um, because they definitely have helped me. What are you doing? Our room is still a mess over here and the backyard is still in progress. If you saw my last few videos, we're building a deck right here and it's so nice. Okay, dinner tonight is every man for himself. So I'm gonna make this Daily Harvest flatbread. I threw away the box already, but this is their kale and sweet potato flatbread, I think. It's actually so good. You just bake it for like 20 minutes or so and then I eat mine with ranch because it is vegan, so I like to unvegan it by doing some ranch. Right now, I just started Good Girls season four. One of my favorite shows, if you haven't seen it, it's so good. Good morning, guys, it's Friday. I'm about to go to work and I'm wearing this cute little top from Princess Polly. What are you doing? What'd you see? We watched three episodes of Good Girls last night and I completely forgot to end the vlog, but I also wanted to talk to you guys about this book, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I know that she's all a rage right now. Everyone's talking about her, everyone's reading her book, so I decided to give her a go. And I don't know, I don't know how I feel. I didn't even know what kind of book this was, to be honest, I just kind of started reading it and it's very romantic. If you get my drift and I I don't know I've, I've never read books like that so I was like kind of shocked at how like graphic it is um, and I'm about like 45% of the way through and I'm just wondering is the whole book gonna be you know what I mean <laughs> So let me know in the comments should I keep reading it it's not my vibe like the, the graphic stuff isn't really oh my gosh <laughs> the graphic depiction of making love is not really my vibe i can tolerate it don't get me wrong but like i feel like it's in every chapter and so i am just wondering if i should finish the book if there's going to be like an interesting plot twist or if like all of her books are just like graphic then i'm not into it but i know everybody's different it's just not my style but let me know should i keep reading it or not let me know in the comments and that's the tea i just realized my hair has been up in a clock like this entire video so that's just because it's been dirty. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What's up? All right, guys. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I post videos like this all the time. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. And I also have a podcast. It comes out every single Saturday. It's called A Small Amount of Drama, presented by yours truly. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.